Welcome to Edithville, our turn of the century miners' cottage in Bendigo, Victoria. Join myself, Dan, and my partner, Brandon, as we transform our little house into a home. Renovating, decorating, gardening, and creating. Building our life in rural Australia. Not to forget our miniature poodle, Sprocket. Come along with us as we document the changes and experience the journey in our beautiful home. Hi everyone. Um, so this week's vlog has kind of hit a little bit of a stump. The SD card in the um, uh, camera that we use, which is a uh, uh, GoPro, decided to crap itself, which means that um, I had to format the disc and that meant that we lost all of the footage that we had filmed. Uh, some of it had some old footage on it, but um, We'd filmed uh, some footage, so I'm going to give you a really quick tour of the bathroom because <laughs> there's another development of that. Um, and essentially anything else that I have filmed uh, or that we have filmed is no longer. And um, to be honest, I can't fully remember what that was that I was filming for you. So, um, yeah. It's a bit disappointing, but um, hopefully by next week. Um, I formatted the uh, card now, so I'm hoping that by next week everything is back on track. So this will be a shorter vlog this week because of all of that footage gone. So come with me and I'll show you the uh, bathroom and what we've done in there. Okay, so it will be difficult to see, but... Um, because, you know, we've got lovely morning light going on. Uh, you can see that we have painted around here. We've done um, a couple of coats, or Brandon has, uh, and we both think that it looks really good in regards to kind of getting rid of that, uh, that wood, that raw wood look. Um, and it just kind of makes this whole wall much bigger. Uh, the bathroom is slight mess, so I'm not going to show you anything but that. <laughs> I also wanted to show you something which is pretty exciting. Uh, friends of ours gave us some of their um, roses that were um, uh, they were ripping out of their um, garden, and so we wanted to try and save some of them and I think we've managed to save quite a few of them but the exciting part is that we actually have some regrowth on some of them which is even better um, and we will be planting these we've planted some of them they haven't quite gone um, and then we have potted some others so I'm going to show you those at, um, I'll just flip the camera around so here we have them uh, so this one you can see is growing actually from the rose. This one here I'm thinking might actually be growing more so from the rootstock than anything else. Um, so it might be a waiting game to see if this actually grows, but this might be dead and then we have something else growing. Um, so not 100% sure about that one. This one, uh, it doesn't look like it's overly successful at this point in time. This one has gone really, really well, but this is what's called a uh, Robusta. And it's a white rose. Um, so it's doing really well. Uh, we already have white roses, but hey, we'll just take it. <laughs> um, the Pat Austin one here, uh, David Austin... Um, I don't think that one has kind of survived. Um, you can see the one behind it has, which has been really, which is really good. Um, 
not 100% sure what type of rose that is because we kind of lost some of the tags. Um, once again, this one's probably not going to make it. Um, but we're kind of holding off on getting rid of anything at this point in time. Likewise, that one, not so good. Um, but what we have seen from this one is even though it looks pretty dead there, we have that. So that's cool. That's pretty exciting. Um, these here, there's a lot which are like this, where um, the stalk is still green, but um, nothing's kind of happening at the moment. So we're just going to wait. Some look like this, which is, you know, the symbol of death, pretty much. Um, so that's gone, probably. Then we have, once again, nice green stalks on these. Uh, so not willing to kind of do anything with that as yet. We'll just plant it and see, and the one behind it is the same. And then there are these ones. And there's not too much happening at the moment. Some of these, I think, will die. Um, this one is still green, as you can see. So I think that one might survive. Um, these couple are probably definitely dead. This one we were hoping would grow because it's a nice big tree, but we're kind of not holding out any hope for that. But this is pretty exciting because um, this is a climbing rose and it is already starting to um, leaf up and green up quite a lot. Um, we didn't cut this one back as much. Uh, but also within this is the clematis, and the clematis is now flowering. Hopefully I can get the top of that. Uh, but there's a number of flowers coming out with the clematis, so we're super excited by that. And of course, all the roses in the front are going off, which is brilliant. So there's a little bit of tidying up that we need to do to the garden. Um, as you can see, there are a few weeds in here, unfortunately. It's an ever-fighting battle to get rid of the bloody weeds. Um, but things are growing really well. So, as you can see, the garden is coming along quite nicely. Um, there's a little bit of work to do in tidying it up, but, you know, we will get there. Um, so yes, unfortunately, any footage that we have taken previously, as I said before, is now cactus. Um, hence, a little bit of a brief view of what the garden is doing. Um, a couple of lovely things happening in the back here. Uh, and of course, you know, the great studio, which is awesome. I'm loving the colour. Um, it's not to everybody's taste, but it's to mine and to Brandon's. So <laughs> that's the main thing, right? Um, right, so on to next week's vlog. Not sure what is going to be in there, but, um, you know, you'll just have to wait and see. Thank you.